Another important topic is credentialing issues. This is very important that to whom we are going to give credit for the training and expertise and to whom we are not and what type of the credentials we are going to assign to the different people. Credentials exist as a tangible indicator of accomplishment given in a certain field with a purpose to the measure the competence of the holder. So, iske different levels ho sakte hain, iske different types ho sakte hain. In psychology, there are at least three levels of credentials which are being distinguished by their intrinsic characteristics and the data on which they are being awarded. So, we are going to see one by one what they are. First of all, we are going to talk about primarily uh, credentials. So, primarily cred uh, credentials are those who are earned over time by direct contact with trained instructor. Like ye one to one interaction ke result mein ye credentials diye jate hain. Like uh, someone who is a mid career person uh, in psychology aur wo kisi bahut high profile instructor se training le raha hai aur jab uske training complete ho jayegi to he will be going to give uh, a credential certificate which, which would be called primary, uh, primarily credential certificate. They are based on longitudinal samples of the practitioner's behavior. This is not only one or two days training. This is after a very long time practice. It is decided that an individual will this credential. And with person-to-person -person supervision and direct observation by senior colleagues. Like the Beck Institute of Repression, the trainees go to different countries and after a long-term training and therapy, वहां से सर्टिफाइड होते हैं तो वो उनके पास एक प्राइमरी क्रेडेंशियल जो है वो आ जाता है फॉर एग्जांपल कोर्स वर्क ग्रेजुएटिंग ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम्स और इंटर्नशिप ये किसी भी इंस्टीट्यूशन के साथ एफिलिएट हो सकते हैं किसी इंटरनेशनल uh, सेंटर के साथ एफिलिएट हो सकते हैं एंड द आउटकम मे इज मे रिजल्ट इन फॉर्म ऑफ एनी ट्रांसक्रिप्ट जैसे एक रिजल्ट कार्ड होता है जैसे एक पोस्ट डॉक की डिग्री होती है जैसे एक ट्रांसक्रिप्ट होता है एंड सर्टिफिकेट ऑफ कंप्लीशन और इसके अलावा डिफरेंट फॉरेन सुपरवाइजर्स के वैल्यूएटरी लेटर्स जो हैं वो भी इसमें इंक्लूड हो सकते हैं देन कम सेकेंडरी क्रेडेंशियल्स सेकेंडरी क्रेडेंशियल्स नॉट ओनली यूज प्राइमरीली क्रेडेंशियल्स एज प्री रिक्विजिट बट आल्सो इनकॉर्पोरेट अदर एलिमेंट्स इन डिटरमिनिंग क्वालिफिकेशन तो आपकी प्राइमरी चीज तो साथ रहेगी लेकिन एक सेकेंडरी जो इसके साथ एसोसिएट हो जाएगी वो इसको مزید डिस्टिंग्विश कर देगी फ्रॉम द प्राइमरी सोर्स such credentials include the licensing and certifications as well as recognition by reputable specialized certifications board. Like a primary certificate complete करने के बाद आप उसमें मजीद advanced certificates जो हैं वो get करते हैं और उसको different international bodies जो हैं वो authorized होती हैं उनकी licensing के लिए उनके credentials देने के लिए तो वो आपकी primary के बाद एक advanced level की secondary uh, credential जो है certificate वो उसमें acquire हो जाता है. Then tertiary credentials. So after uh, talking about the primary and secondary credentials, the third one are tertiary credentials and they are based solely on the evidence that both the primary and secondary credentials have been obtained. Yani aisa nahi ho sakta ke koi ye claim kare ke uske paas tertiary credentials hain, lekin uske paas primary or secondary na ho. So they should come one after another. In a sense, they simply attest to the fact that the professional who is going to hold the primary and secondary credential, he would be the only one who is going to get the tertiary credentials. Membership in certain professional organizations such as APA divisions in Pakistan, we can talk about PPA specifically, uh, then we talk about PAC specifically, then state or local professional associations or listing in national register, register of health services providers in psychology. It can also include many other international organizations such as ICP, International Council for Psychologists and uh, British Council for Psychologists or many others. So, we clearly understand that in ka part banne ke liye ye bahut zaruri hai ki pehle aapke paas primary degree ho psychology mein, psychotherapy mein aur aap uske andar practice kar rahe ho aur aapne us primary certificate ko ensure kiya ho. Then aapki ek supervised training ho or you have a secondary certificate ho, and after that you would be eligible that you are having all those competent uh, degrees, all those competent license and uh, certificates that you are eligible enough to get recognition by these international bodies by becoming their affiliate member, 
by becoming their life members and so on and so forth. So this is how all three type of credentials are being discussed in ethical practice.